know, Amy, about five years ago we came here to the Blue Circle and we definitely needed to get back here. Yeah, we're excited to circle back around for more good food and great conversation. Right. Mark and Debbie Sourbeer have taken over ownership here. They got great food and they got great people in here coming every day to enjoy it. And I am hungry, so I say we go inside. Let's head on in. All right, let's go. first walked in here today, the gentleman that owns this place, Mark Sauerbeer, looked at me and said, you know, this is a lot different than the scrap metal business. And it is a lot different, isn't it? Well, just a little bit. 37 years of scrap and then went to hamburgers. It's quite a bit of difference. <laughs> you took a whole different kind of route in life here, didn't you? I did. We went from tearing down and blowing up buildings and scrap metal to slinging hamburgers. So, yeah, that's a, that's a big turnaround right there. Was there a big transition when you came in here and started running this place? I mean, your wife told on you a little bit. She said you actually started trying to cook there to, uh, the first few days. Well, when we first took it on, we always wanted a restaurant, or I did. I thought the first few weeks were crazy because, you know, it had been closed, and then we reopened the business, and we only had like five or six staff. And But, you know, now we've got it worked out and uh, got a system, changed a few things on the flow. We get her food out quicker, but it, it's, it's been good. We got a few more things we're going to add and smooth it, smooth it out a little more. And uh, it just takes time. Neither one of us has ever been in the restaurant business, so that's that puts you behind from day one, you know. I did work at Wendy's three days a day. For three days, three whole days. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I love the fact that you have almost like a built-in customer base when you came here. I was talking to folks 40 plus years, 50 plus years coming to the Blue Circle. So you knew folks wanted this place here. We did. It was a gamble. You know, it's it wasn't as much of a gamble as if you'd opened up a brand new restaurant. We knew there was a customer base here and we thought with the people we knew, we've owned other businesses before, we could probably bring those customers in with us. Yeah, it's been great. The people have been very, very supportive of us and we appreciate that very much. You like having those regular customers, you come in and you know pretty much what they want and, and it, they're people you talk to every day. Some people, that my cooks or the staff, they'll see them pull up out front and they'll have their stuff on the counter and uh, they almost become like family, you know. Norma, you were telling me this is like your happy place, isn't it? It is. I've been coming here since I was a little girl. And even though I've moved away, I still come back. And how was it? Amazing, as good right? As good as it was when I was a little girl. Oh. And changed a bit. I really like the corn dogs and they're loaded. If you want breakfast, their loaded omelets are amazing. Um, and they're totally customizable and their floats and milkshakes are the best if you want dessert. Betty, you got eight bags in front of you here and uh, I don't know if you can eat all of that. Uh, probably not. <laughs> a lot of it, but not all of it. But you've been t you told me you've been coming here to the Blue Circle for a lot of years now. I've been married 46, almost 47 years and yeah. we've been coming together ever since then and even before, before I got married. Tell me about your perfect burger. Okay. Uh, mayonnaise, the pickle, the onion. No mustard no and mustard. the cheese. It's Betty Irwin, 40 plus years coming here to the Blue Circle. You know, I love a good story almost as much as I love a good burger, and you get both here at the Blue Circle. You guys have just an incredible story of reopening this place, a place you loved as a kid. Tell me a little bit about what happened and how it all evolved. Well, my husband and I both had a job, and we just wanted an, a business of our own. We'd had a business in the past, and we just liked being business owners. So one night on our anniversary back in July, we happened to go downtown to the rooftop bar in Bristol, and um, we ran into a previous owner, Bart Long, and he was actually talking to someone about buying the business. And I was like, oh, really? You know, I was just joking with him. Oh, yeah, we'll buy it, whatever. Well, like two days later, he called us. And he said, I just feel like you guys would do a great job with it. I just feel like you guys would, you know, need this restaurant. So we were like, oh, gosh, you know, this is a big step. Quitting our jobs and, you know, doing this together all the time, 24-7. So we talked about it, prayed about it, and it just happened. We're just happy to bring it back to the community. 
I was going to say, so many people have said thank you they because have. this is a part of Bristol. It's a huge part of the history and the future. It is, and I mean, the people in the Tri-Cities have been wonderful to us. So supportive, and you know, we've stayed busy, and, and they've been here for us and really backed us and showed their support, and we really appreciate that. One of the things I noticed is you have the camaraderie among the guests. Everybody's making new friends. They're all bellied up to the bar. But you also have that same thing from the people that work here. I mean, they, they get drawn back. They do. Um, we have a great staff. I mean, these people, we love them. We go bowling together. We do things after work together, you know. We're just like a family at Blue Circle. And our customers, we feel that way too. We have regulars that come in every day, and we just have built relationships with them, and I think that's very important. There's just something special about this place, isn't it? It's very special. It's special to the community, it's special to our employees, and it's very special to us. Special to us too. Yeah. Oh, Amy, I think our food's coming. Can you smell it? Oh, I smell it coming. I've been, I've been waiting for this all day. Oh, <laughs> oh look at here, look at here. Oh, I got three circle burgers yeah, and a yeah. hot dog on the special and those special crinkle cut fries. Oh, my goodness, I didn't order a hot dog. I'm going to need no, a bite of this. No, no, I'm going to no, need no, one no. little bite. <laughs> get out ah! of there. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, but trust me, they got plenty of food here. I think we can get you a hot dog. <laughs> I think we're good. And you should try it the next time you're in town. Blue Circle's so delicious. Thanks to Mark and Debbie and all the folks here at Blue Circle for having us out here today. Folks, the food is fantastic. You're really not going to give me a lot of that chocolate? No. Dog?